Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Bunker. At this time, I am joined by a woman who may very well leave here tonight at the third anniversary as the World Ball Wrestling Women's Champion, hashtag Team Cupcakes, it's Zoe Lucas. Welcome to World Ball Wrestling, and tonight you face one of the toughest competitors in the world of professional wrestling. That is the Amazon Aisha Raymond. I mean, she is no joke. She's not, you're right. She's super tough. She's May Young Classic, like, come on. That was impressive. But, never say never, I could, does that make sense? Never say never, never say I never. could win, could win, could win, I can win, I will win, I am winning, I will be the women's champion. Two cupcake, woo! She may be winning here tonight, Zoe Lucas may very well walk away with the belt. Let's get back to ringside. <sighs> championship match of the evening. This contest, ladies and gentlemen, is scheduled under 1-4. One, four. One, four. And this is for the World War Wrestling Women's Championship. <laughs> Introducing first to the ring, please. This is why I'm conflicted. What is that, Al? Team Cupcake. Now, I'm always a fan of the underdog. Because that's where the future lies. The underdogs eventually become the overlords. We have seen it so many times in pro wrestling the world over. I have seen Zoe Lucas in action elsewhere. If memory serves, she has actually trained under, and I'm gonna hate myself for saying this, Andy Boy Simmons, who for all his failings as a regular competitor is an absolute gentleman and a great trainer and has all the basics, all the technical wizardry that there is to pass on. But in my heart of hearts, I'm Team Cunningham. But you also have to remember, this is a lady, our champion, who was recently in the WWE May Young Classic Tournament. And I won't hold only that against her. English competitor. The May Young Classic. She's your reigning and defending World War Wrestling Women's Champion. And I don't know if Aisha Raymond needs any more encouragement, but the woman she's facing tonight, Zoe Lucas, Team Cupcake, has actually teamed with the woman that bested her in that WWE tournament recently. She doesn't look phased though. Team Cupcake doesn't look bothered at all. She's in there though. She's making her debut for World War Wrestling and she's doing it for the championship against the Deadlift Diva, the powerhouse. Our women's champion, Aisha Rain, the Amazon. Now, the question is whether Aisha Ray taking this lightly, or whether she learned from the last time you and I sat side by side when she wrestled Lil Miss Roxy, a diminutive firecracker of a wrestler, no two ways about it, who gave Aisha Ray everything she could handle. If you know anything about Aisha Ray, you know that she takes no one lightly, and she takes nothing lying down. She won a series of matches so culminating in the win for the Women's Championship against Scarlett, her most bitter rival to date. Scarlett, for the record, being the woman that Aisha Ray hospitalized at one point with a serious neck injury. You can only imagine the depths of bad blood between these two ladies. But, um, okay. she has a present. Team Cupcake looks 
So he has a present. What's what's she doing? Now we always know that if anybody goes under the ring, what it's is always to pull out a steel chair, a table, or a baseball bat covered in barbed wire. Oh, barbed wire. Yeah. We should all have a. She's got a coat coat. Okay, so knowing what normally lives under a wrestling ring. Please tell me she's not gonna. She's trying to. She's trying to give the cupcake to Aisha. Okay, you say about taking somebody lightly? How's about taking somebody to an extreme place? How's about taking Aisha to the extent of her temper? May I make a suggestion? Perhaps this is actually strategery on the part of Zoe Lucas. She knows what the deadlift diva is all about. She knows what she's like. You've already stated Aisha Ray takes everyone seriously. So how do you get under her skin? How do you throw her off her game? Make it look like you're not taking her seriously. Oh, without a doubt. As fierce as Aisha Raymond is, the deadlift diva, her temper has caused her to come unstuck in the past, so you could be right. She could be trying to rile her and making, make her make some mistakes tonight. They're very few and far between, though. That Ever since she won that belt, though, Aisha Ray, the deadlift diva, has looked more and more intense. Every win. The match against Lil Miss Rock, she, she, she stepped up again, without doubt. And she's so strong. Six foot tall. The ability to lift more weight than most men, let's be fair. Well, this is it. If you know of Aisha Ray's history, you'll know that she does power lift. She does bodybuild. She has, indeed, if I recall correctly, been a fitness model. This woman doesn't just talk it, she walks it. Oh, she's trying to call her bluff now. Baiting in Team Cupcake, begging her to hit her. Quick readjustment there from our champion. <coughs> Well, one must always make sure that we are sartorially elegant. Running up ahead of steam, feeding off this crowd, she's going for it again. No, this time she rolls through, go for the pin. Oh, nice attempt there, but all that's going to do is wind up Aisha. Head games. Oh. Knee to the small of the back, what the hip was that? That's one way to slow down the momentum of Cupcake. Zoe Lucas, she's up in the air. Look at the power. Look at that. Stalling slams her down hard. That is one of the assets of Aisha Ray. She can slow the pace down to her level and just pick apart. She did it against Miss Roxy. It's standard operating procedure, though, for a more powerful and dominant opponent. You ensure that you bring the pace to your level. This is the kind of pace that you would expect in, for want of a better term, big man matches, the power matches. It's the mark of a true champion, but I just worry, will Aisha become overzealous? Is she, is she misjudging Zoe? At the moment, she's definitely in ascendancy, but she has to stay on top of her. She has to keep on this onslaught. She can't let Zoe Lucas recover, because if she does, this is an unknown entity. Let's remember, Aisha hasn't actually faced this woman before. And I should also point out, as I stated in the beginning, this is a woman who's been trained by Andy Boy Simmons, who was at one point in time one of the dirtiest players in the game in the United Kingdom. Again, Aisha is spending too much time talking to his crowd, though. If we've seen anything tonight, if you don't stay on your opponent, you come unstuck. Danny Blaze earlier against Josh Shooter, he took too much time winding up the crowd, and he came unstuck just then. Zoe Lucas now. Oh, beautiful move there. Zoe Lucas speeding up the pace of this match. Very nice. Wow, they're incredible. That's got to be rattling the champ. Has she got another one in there? 
off the ropes. Yes, she has. Have a knee. How many was that? Six? Uh, I, would, I would have to ask my friend from Sesame Street, but he was just a gog at the brutality. I can't remember his name, but I'm sure we'll see him again later. He did promise. Sidewalk slam there. Nice move. Aisha, bit of an nonchalant cover. Will it be enough? No. I do get the feeling there that after a move with that impact, if Aisha had actually hooked a leg, then maybe she'd have won there, but she was overzealous. She didn't put enough body-on-body -body contact to pick up the win. You can't do that with somebody in a wrestling ring unless you've worn them down to the point that she has yet to do. You have to wear a person down to the point of exhaustion if you are going to be so nonchalant. And regardless of how much abuse I saw... Oh, fall away, oh, slam! Oh, oh. The last time I saw something like that, done as nicely as that, there was a guy making wolf pack symbols in the ring. That was a vintage Scott Hall fall away slap. The champion sends her off. Oh, hard knee there. Ooh! Call back to a certain red-headed lady there. Now, there was sufficient body on body there, but there definitely was not enough damage done to keep Aisha Ray down. As demonstrated by the fact that Aisha Ray is now back on her feet. Oh, that's just plain nasty. Come on, ref. You can count as much as you want. That's... Come on, you have to warn her about her future conduct on that one. That was ridiculous. Solid forearm shiver, back of the neck between the shoulders. So Lucas now being pulled back up by Ishere. With the hair, she's got a handful of hair. The referee needs to keep an eye on that. You see, like I said, this is actually favouring Aisha right now. She's slowing the pace right down, taking away one of the best assets that she actually has in Zoe Lucas, her speed. Ground and pound. But she can change it up, as we've seen with the strength, the fall away slam. Absolutely incredible move. The sidewalk slam, again, a demonstration of real power. Again, with those hard shots across the chest. Now, I think this is actually a mistake by the deadlift diva. She is trash talking, she is bad mouthing, and now Zoe Lucas fires back forearms, chops, forearms, multiple forearm shivers to the jaw, to the side of the neck. I think she's upset, Zoe. I think she's underestimated. That's the first one, not the second one. That was a beautiful spinning roundhouse kick. Still Only not gets enough. a one out of that, though. The other thing, obviously, is that Zoe Lucas can't get too frustrated. She wants to keep on the deadlift diva. Forcing her into the corner, the deadlift leave going up top. The fact she was able to get that high for that forearm was incredible. Picks her up. Oh, nice, into the bridge. That was a great move. That was indeed beautiful. Fisherman suplex, second turnbuckle with Aisha set on the top turnbuckle. Beautifully bridged, held it, just didn't have the strength. Again, we make reference to this. Aisha Ray, the deadlift diva. Big part of deadlift, leg strength. They're not short legs, they are long legs. And there's a perfect legs. demonstration there. Another fall away slam. The deadlift diva catching her in midair. That's the strength we're talking about. Hooks her up. What's she going for? Fisherman suplex of her own. Oh, oh she's and not rolls done. through. Driver. Oh. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Your winner, and still World War Wrestling Women's Champion, the Amazon, Aisha Ray. Well, Commissioner Cox has stood right behind Jay. I think we're going to need some help. 
for Zoe Lucas, though, because Team Cupcake really doesn't look too good at the minute. Ref, get, turn to get a fourth. She's got a... Come on, Ref. I tip my hat to our debutant, though. She gave as good as she got tonight. Oh, she did. And I definitely, for one, look forward to seeing her coming back, whether it is directly as a competitor for the Women's Championship again, or whether, who knows, tag action, intergender action. Oh, it's beautiful to see all of these people coming into the war zone. Thank you. I think she may have caused some serious damage there to Team Cupcakes, Zoe Lucas. We need some help for this woman. She's back to vertical base, though, bless her. She gave a great account tonight in her debut. I could definitely see her coming back. Welcome to the war zone, Zoe Lucas. Unfortunately, on this occasion, you didn't win, but we'll see you soon, no doubt. A hard-fought contest, but yes, that's now two successful victories under the belt of still women's champion, the Amazon Aisha Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Bunker. At this time, I am joined by the World War Wrestling Women's Champion, the Amazon Aisha Raymond. Aisha, another successful defense tonight against Zoe Lucas. Congratulations, you must be feeling good. Bulamon, I don't need your praise. I don't need your gratification. I don't need your congratulations. I did what I said I was going to do in World War Wrestling. I did what I said I was going to do all around the world. Yes, I did come back from the Mae Young Classic. And yes, it was a great opportunity to be the only English competitor in the inaugural Mae Young Classic. But it's even more of an honour, even more of a privilege to still be your World War Wrestling Women's Champion. To prove to you now, again, and in the future that I am the most dominant female in World War Wrestling. That I am the most dominant female in wrestling today. See, I did it tonight with Zoe Lucas. And I'll do it tomorrow with whoever. And I'll do it next year with whoever. Because I am not letting go of this title until somebody grasps it, takes it from me. You have anything else to say, Boulamont? Just wanted to congratulate you on a great match. And uh, we need to get back to the action. Thank you very much, Aisha.